I'd like you to imagine a dimly lit corner of Heron's, a Forbes five-star restaurant and bastion of fine dining in Raleigh, North Carolina. And as I stroll through the hushed dining room, past the meticulously curated art collection, towards the floor-to-ceiling windows framing the manicured gardens, I can see the scene being set for a culinary performance. I'm Stephen Devereaux Green. I'm the executive chef at the Amstead Hotel and Spa. I think my style, I say progressive American. I think America is a melting pot of other countries and my, my style of food has really been influenced a lot from travel. So I love intense Asian flavors, but also that delicate balance of finesse that they use in some of their dishes, especially the Japanese. We have a, a three acre farm with three full-time farmers, a hundred foot greenhouse. So we grow a significant amount of produce and, and a lot of fun things like a, a red dent heirloom corn called John Hawk that we grind these grits daily. So I have these uh, fun Asian flavors, but still a lot of Southern culture and ingredients. The dish that I've picked is uh, smoked hamachi. This one is inspired by a piece of art. One of the artists that we have here is Lynn Bogus. And what he does is he's, he takes his pain and his uh, you know, canvas and he goes out in nature and he actually paints on site. The paint, he, he uses so much of it, he, he can almost pull it off of the canvas and the nature kind of comes out at you almost 3D. So a, a lot of that inspiration was taken into the way that we present this dish. So we have the, you know, the fish on one side and everything else on the other side just kind of cascading over the fish but you have the water element, which is like in a, a lot of his uh, paintings, like a stream is in front of it with the dashi stock and the, the wet element, so to speak. As Steven gets to work in the kitchen, I get to work setting up Halloumen. Halloumen was in part inspired by my work with luxury hotels, Michelin starred chefs and fine dining. So it seemed appropriate to test it in this very setting. And I can use the uh, Rocini plate. Think about Rocini like interior designers only for tabletops. And they just happen to be the tabletops of the top chefs on the planet. Hans, who knows a thing or two about aesthetic perfection, was instrumental in bringing us here today. The plate that we're using today is a, a plate made by Rena Minardi. Her stuff is just so elegant and beautiful and it, it, just the texture of it looks like nature. It feels like nature. Already built canvas with paint on it, so to speak. So it's already a piece of art. Now let's talk about Halloumen. After years of spending hours on complex lighting setups with three to five lights, stands, modifiers, and flags, I invented a solution that can be ready in just three minutes. It's a single device, and today we're gonna be powering it with just one speed light. Today we opted to work quickly, so Saray is going to be hand-holding the Halloumen over the plate so there's no light stands, there's no accessory legs, it's just the Halloumen, the H18 and one speed light. Look at this, a single plate illuminated by Halloumen. The colors pop, the textures shine, you can almost taste the flavors. It's efficient and it's beautiful. Now let's play a bit. A glass of wine, a perfectly plated dish, and Halloumen capturing it all. We have rim light on the glass. We have beautiful soft light on the plate. It's a new angle and a new perspective and the results are absolutely stunning. So there you have it. There's no doubt about it. Halloumen has passed the fine dining test with flying colors. Thank you so much to Chef Stephen Green and his entire team at Heron's for their exceptional hospitality. If you're a food photographer, a chef, or anyone that makes it a practice to capture the visual beauty of cuisine, Halloumen is a must have. It's time to lighten your load and focus on what truly matters, capturing the art on your plate.